Today, we learn the Celtic knot. Hi, kitty. Hi, I'm Miyaka, and welcome to Miyaka Mates. Today, we are going to learn how to make a Celtic knot, like this little one right here, on 3D Studio Max. And it is gonna be easy. So come along, let's do some stuff. Yay! All right, welcome to 3D Studio Max. It's one of my favorite programs, yet I know very little about it. Been using it for 12 years, crazy. All right, so you want to make a Celtic knot. First thing we're going to do is go to the spline section over here. Um, geometry is for basic shapes, and you got the spline next to it. The, and I'm going to pick a star. Um, down here you got the parameters for the star. Um, for the thickness, I'm... Well, oh, it's for the viewport. Um, let's see here. Keyboard entry. Keyboard entry. I'm going to make this 25. I'm going to make this one 10 millimeters. And I want to have it a three-point star with a distortion of 180 degrees. So let's see how this looks. Create. It's nice. It puts it right in the middle. It's fantastic. I'm going to rotate this. 30 degrees, so the top point is on the top. So, 30. Alright. It's already start, starting to look like one. So now we're going to go to the edit spline here in your little modifier list. We're going to select the vertexes, just the three middle ones, and we're going to turn them smooth. And then we're going to turn them to Beezer, so you get the little handles. And I'm going to scroll them up, making sure this is the pivot point is on each individual thing. So scroll it up. Now I'm not exactly happy with the fatness of this, so I'm going to go back down to the star and bring it down a tad bit to about seven. Yeah, it looks nice. Alright. Let's see what it looks like. We're going to enable the rendering. Fat. Perfect. 3.5. Alright, so, as you can see, now everything's just at the same level. Everything's at the same level. We're going to tilt these up a little bit so they wrap around each other. So we're going to go to rotate. Just going to tilt that just up a little bit. Then we do the next one. Tilt it up just a little bit. And then the top one. Just a little bit. There. Easy peasy. So far it looks like a nut. Now you can do this with any points. You can do it with four, five, six, twenty points if you want. You can have a cool, big, elaborate thing. Um, I'm going to add the circle in the middle. Next. So I'm going to add a circle. I'm going to make it have this all set up, it's going to be enabled, the rendering is enabled, radial thickness 3.5, just like the knot. We're going to go to a keyboard entry, make that a 12, 12, 12, and make it a little bigger. Fifteen. Now I like this, except for I need to adjust the angles of these vertexes just a little bit. So a little bit on that one. I think this one too. Just, no, I don't like it. There you go. What do you think? It's got a little wrinkle right there, but we can probably wash that out. But 
Looks like a thing. Alright, so you can print it like this if you want and it'll look fine. I like to uh, flatten the base a little bit so it fits nicely on my printer. So I'm going to change this to an editable poly and I'm going to attach the ring to it. If I kept it as a spline, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to melt the bottom. If I kept it as a spline, it wouldn't melt. It would just still be a spline. But as it's, now it's an edible poly, it'll melt. I'm also going to smooth this up a little bit because that wrinkle is bothering me. There, no more wrinkle. And I'm going to melt. Bring it down. Take a look at the bottom. Flat. There. All you gotta do next is export it. Import it into your favorite 3D printing slicer program. And hit print. And you have yourself a nice little nut. Looks just like it. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something and I uh, hope that you like and subscribe to my channel. I shall put stuff up weekly or bi weekly, at least once a week. So, cat's yeah, claws. Say goodbye. Big fat kitty cat. Yes, I am. I go.